South of the center of Crete are the remains of a ruined basilica, the Christian remains of Gortis, former glory. Within the early Christian bishop church that originally contained three naves, only the altar area has survived. Over the centuries, the remainder of this once monumental church has collapsed. For the construction of the basilica in the 6th and 7th centuries, many of the architectural elements of the surrounding ancient ruins were also used. During construction, there was no lack of decorative old capitals, as Gortis was once one of the most important cities in Crete. decisively influenced the history of the city. The Peleus experienced its first golden years between the 5th and 3rd centuries BC. However, the first settlement of this region took place much earlier. Archaeologists even excavated a Minoic farmer's house that dates back to the 16th century. Thus, it is likely that the Titus church was built on an historic foundation. It is possible that a classic temple was once located here. Gortis became famous among archaeologists due to a sensational discovery within the walls of a nearby Roman Odeon. Twelve stone blocks that bore inscriptions from the classical period of around 500 years BC were built into the wall of a small amphitheatre by its Roman creators. The stones contain sections of the great legal code of Gortis. In using this material, the Romans managed to preserve one of the best kept legal texts of ancient Greece. Up until today, however, it is still unclear as to why these stones were built into the walls of the amphitheater. Between 68 and 66 BC, the Roman Empire had reached the island of Crete. The inhabitants of Gortis offered no resistance. On the contrary, they fully accepted their Roman conquerors and the city subsequently enjoyed a further prosperous period. Later, the city's population increased to more than 300,000. 
Under Roman rule, Gortys developed into Crete's greatest city. The rise of the city had already begun in the 3rd century BC, following the successful defeat of Phaistos and Matala Harbour. Only the invasion of the Arabs in 823 AD brought the wealthy and powerful city to its sudden and violent end. After this, Gortys was destroyed forever. Thus, the inhabitants abandoned their ruined city and it continued to decay. A number of beautiful and ancient ruins are located amid numerous olive trees. And the plane tree is also worth a closer look. According to legend, it is said that Zeus, the father of all gods and creator of Europe, conceived Minos beneath an evergreen plane tree near to Odeons. Crete's first cultural blossoming began after the birth of the Minoic kings. From this liaison of the gods, legend has it that the continent of Europe was created. An ancient Christian legend has its origin in Gortus, thus, Holy Titus is said to have once lived here. Indeed, the great Ios Titos Basilica was built in order to worship him. This church is one of the oldest and most important Christian monuments in Crete. The city was not only the residence of the first bishops of Crete, it was here that Gortys' conversion to Christianity began and eventually spread across the entire island. A museum contains several works of art that date back to early Christianity and the ancient world. However, the most precious discoveries are to be found within Heraklion's museum. Although nature has buried many of its treasures, even today, a few magnificent statues still manage to reflect the former size and wealth of the city of Gortys.